Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Beaver and we just finished the stilling the all fruit wash that we did that we're going to be filling a 9 litre barrel with. Now we're just going to quickly pop back to pause Beaver and he's going to explain the process we used to distill the product and then we're going to come back here and we're going to blend it so we can get the barrel all filled up. We'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Now today we're doing something super exciting, something I have been looking forward to do for a very long time and it's an all fruit wash. Now in this bucket over here we have 35 liters of low wines at 45% ABV. We're going to be dumping that into the still today, distilling it and then we will be filling a barrel. So stick around for the full recipe, see you on the other side. With the first stripping run complete now, we're just going to quickly drain the still. We collected low wines all the way down to a roughly 10% in this bucket over here. We have about 15 liters of low wines sitting at approximately 55%. So time to start draining it, dump it, fill it and then start the second run. Okay, so we have the still now running currently and we have it up to temperature so we are starting to produce liquid coming down from the reflux condenser. Let me quickly show you. We've set up the still with only one plate in the column although there's two side glasses, one plate so we can just lift it off the boiler so we can see uh, also we can get the product coming off because we're using gas at the bottom there not too close to the actual uh, boiler so preventing any dripping onto the flames and then creating a big ass mess with that now happening and we have that uh, liquid condensing down what we're going to do is we're going to run the still in full reflux for this recipe because it's a fruit wash all the good flavors are going to come through in the head so i want to condense that head cut or the four shots and head cut as small as possible so that I don't lose any of those good flavors. I'm going to put this still into full reflux, let it run for about 20 minutes in full reflux with all the liquid going back down and we're not taking anything off of the product uh, at the end. So we're not going to collect anything. We're just going to run it for 20 minutes in full reflux to ensure that we get that good quality um, fruit flavors in the heads but we don't pull way too much of the stuff that we don't want. So we're going to condense all that bad stuff down and then, uh, yeah, see you guys back when we start taking first cuts. Okay, so we have now just finished collecting. Let me turn the camera around the heads. We took it off at about 92%. It gradually started dropping down to about 82. So I'm happy we are going to be taking a hard cut at about between 80 and 82 and see how long we can keep it there and how long the flavors stay. I'm very happy with the flavors coming off the still so far. So let me quickly show you the head cut and four shots cuts we did and then we're gonna transition into our hearts. So we are currently taking it off. As you can see, we're running at just about 82%. Now we took a 500 mil cut there about another 500 mil cut there and about 300 and something odd mils over here it's time for us now to switch over and start taking our hard cut for the hard cut we're going to be collecting straight into this big ass stainless steel pot over here so we just need to transition this out rather difficult to do with just one hand but bam now we're going to run it up until we collect about nine liters of hearts. I'm gonna come back, check it periodically, but we should be relatively comfortable within the realm if we just collect nine liters. So that pot there is about six liters. Then I'm gonna collect into another smaller pot 
and uh, yeah we'll keep monitoring it up until we get to our desired volume or up until we start tasting tails because this is a fruit wash we're not going to get a lot of flavors in the tails so once tails start coming in i'm going to cut off the run and i'll see you guys up top okay so after tasting just a little bit of this i feel we're getting close to our uh, tails cut now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drain the bottom of the parrot out switch over the spot dump it into a hard cut and then start taking smaller cuts up until i know that we are straight into tails and then i'm going to cut off the run so let's quickly drain the bottom of the parrot and then uh, we know there's no smearing between the transitions of the cuts so as you saw we ran two stripping runs and one spirit run now the still was set up the one that's behind me here to run in a semi pot still mode for the final run for both the stripping runs we didn't put any plates or anything in the column we're just straightforward a stripping run now on the last run we did put one plate into the still that is just so we can maintain a decent ABV without having to mess with the still too much so we ended up taking roughly about 11 liters of product out of the still for the spirit run we did collect at the end a couple of small jars of tails or faux tails if you want to call it like that the kind of stuff that i'm going to smell and taste and see if there's any flavors in there that i want to put into the final product before blending it down to roughly about 70 percent and then putting it into the barrel so let's quickly taste the tails and then see if we need to add any of them into the final product first up over here we have a small cut of tails roughly about 300 mils now this does have a funky little smell to it not 100 percent sure if i'm going to add it i'm just going to smell the rest and see if that flavor transitions all the way through and if it's something that i want it has that sweet kind of raisiny smell to it so yeah let's quickly smell the other ones so this is the second part of the tails um, we were still running at a pretty high ABV. We this is taken off at eighty percent. So maybe we can add that. This one here has a super interesting smell. So we're definitely going to be adding this one. This one almost has like a candied raisin kind of smell to it. So I'm definitely going to be adding that. And then the last jar of tails I collected just before it turned really bad and I stopped the run. This has that kind of deep dried fruit flavor that I'm looking for. So I'm definitely going to be adding that one. Out of the first two jars, number two smells bad, so I'm not going to add that. And number three, maybe a little bit. What I'm going to do now is quickly just test the ABV of this here. See how I need to do my calculations to get it down to 70%. So as you can see there, it's sitting at around about 80%, between 80 and 81. I'm going to shoot and keep it at 80 and then bring it down to about 70%. After the calculations are done, I need about 8 liters in this bucket with about 1.2 liters of water, bringing it the total to 9.2 liters, giving us a little bit of extra so we can add it to the barrel. Next up, the barrel. Now we're going to fill up the barrel with the 9 liters of our proofed down liquor. Now this is at roughly about 70%, between 70 to 72 and we're gonna fill the barrel over here. Now this is a nine liter barrel. It was prepared to take the spirit. First off, the night before, dumped a whole bunch of hot water into this bad boy, left it to swell up so there was no more leaking, drained that out, and then what I did to prepare it for this raisin brandy that we're gonna be putting into here, I took some of the ferment that was nice and cleared out, and I put it into the barrel, left it there for about a week, and then drained it out. You saw me pouring it straight into the second distillation or the spirit run, 
when you saw me dumping the barrel into the still that was the wine that was in this barrel here now that absorbed into the wood so it should give a nice a port like finish to the brandy once it's done aging inside of the barrel let's quickly get the barrel all filled up and sealed up and then we're going to talk about the recipe we used to get to this point here barrel all filled up label and date on it now this is going to stand and rest for the next couple of months i'll be tasting it periodically because this is a nine liter barrel should take about three months for us to get the wood impact that we want we'll test it on a monthly basis and then once it's ready we'll decant and i'll give you guys feedback on the flavors now let's quickly do a case test of just the product and then we get into the recipe as for the smell and the flavor of the product now i have been tasting this as it was coming off the still as well as tasting it all the way through it does have a nice robust raisin smell to it dried fruit and it is very sweet on the taste it does have a couple of new alcohol kind of smells to it that should age out over time so i'm very excited to see how this changes over time currently it's a nice white product but it's not a drinkable white product in the sense that it is um, capable of being used as it is currently now the recipe is 100 percent raisins so it is definitely in need of some aging to make it a product that is capable of being used as a sipping brandy or anything like that but very good product nonetheless now let's quickly chat about the actual recipe the reason why i left it for last is it was a super simple recipe we started off with 20 kilograms of raisins we then put those raisins through a meat grinder to mince it all up to expose all the surface area of the fruit dumped it into our fermenter filled it up to about 80 liters of water the reason why i selected 80 liters of water is a raisin loses about um, 80 percent of its liquid during the drying process so the thought behind it is if i bring it back up to the volume of liquid it would have been if it was only uh, grapes then we should get a relatively good fermentation now we dumped it all into the bucket we did add some nutrients in the form of some zinc and some uh, diammonium phosphate or dap we then pitched the yeast and let it ride i left this to ferment for roughly about three weeks before i took a little bit off the top and filled the barrel with nine liters of the product then we stripped it and then we ran it so a super simple recipe i'll put it down in the description box with all the formulas i used to get to the point where i decided on 20 kilograms and 80 liters in total volume and then you guys can make up your uh, own recipes using that so yeah beautiful raisin flavor even more on the taste but if you've been watching this far Thank you very much for watching and have a lucky day.